You're dead. Ow. Blowhard! Confronting Blowhard. Alright. Ooh, the music in this one's awesome. What should I call this episode? How about poop? There we go. That's a good idea for a name. Poop. Because it's the crappiest video in a long time. Good thing I got that decided. It usually takes me a while to figure something, or decide. No, you die. Okay, so, um, yeah, I have to go now, so, next time on Spyro the Dragon we'll do some crap, and things will happen, goodbye. Hey folks, this is DBM, and welcome back to Let's Play Spyro the Dragon for the PS1, even though this doesn't really apply anymore, because, technically now, this will be in a little bit, like, a minute into the video. This is Blowhard the boss level of the Magic Crafters world. There's two very similar ones uh, in the game. There's a home world called the Magic Crafters world and there's one called the Dream Weavers world and I always get them mixed up. Even though the other one is my favorite. And I was always, as a kid, I was always disappointed to get to this part because I was like, I can't wait to get to the flippin' Dreamweavers or... Thanks for releasing me, Spyro! You have no idea how long I've been trapped in crystal. And, uh, neither do I. What's going on with his jaw? Um, I'm out of here. Is that treasure on the ground or just gold pebbles? I always wondered that. But, um... I'm bad at counting, so this will probably be a short video. Because I'll undershoot the time. I'm absolutely certain that I will. I'll be way too uh, cautious of the time and then to shoot it. Pew 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 pew. Oh snap. Man, I love this playthrough mainly because it's very visible, uh, what's the word? Progress. The progress is very easy to see. Not as easy as other games, but this is one of the ones that I'm playing right now, so, you know. Whatever! Good game, too. Good game, good game. You dead. I killed Blowhard! Oh my god! Oh, snap! I almost died there. That's the last of that. There we go. Off to the next... Blah. Off to the next speech impediment. Homeworld is what I mean. Freaking beast makers. I hate this place. You'll see what I mean. Tuco the balloonist or Tucko or something. Thank you, Spyro, for recovering so many of our dragon eggs. Hop aboard for the Beastmaker's world if you are ready. I'm never ready for the Beastmaker's world, but let's go to the Beastmaker's. On our fancy little hot air balloon here. Propelled by magic, I assume, because there's no... Uh, um, there's no fire. Yeah. Fire, which would be heating the air, causing hot air to make it rise. Thus, hot air balloon. But... I guess we don't need that in the world of dragons or whatever they call it. Can't remember. Nobody has said whether they like widescreen or full screen better yet because I have so few subscribers. But I'm sure someone will. Whatever. I'm not going to keep bothering you about it. Rescued Bruno! Nasty Nork is turning our swamp into an electrified junk heap. And it used to be so beautiful. I'm sure it was. Yeah, I'm doubting that. 
Oh, snap! I didn't die though, because I'm awesome. Anyone else playing this game would have died there. Terrace Village, I don't remember that one. I mean, I remember it, but I don't remember what it was like. Kaboom, I hate these things. And these things too. They always catch me off guard. Whoosh. Okay, um... Shazam. Anyway, so Spyro the Dragon. Pretty awesome, huh? This is uh, part nine, I think. Can't remember. I need, I want to come up with, oh, never mind. I was gonna say I want to come up with a title for this one. But it's already out! I already got the title in the end of the last one. Cletus, the Slackjawed Dragon. Spyro, it's great to see you, but I've got to go. Yeah, that was um, a rich little nugget of information right there. But, um. Yeah. What was I gonna say? Okay, I think I've got it. I think I will come up with the title for the Tamba video in this uh, part of the video because I usually have trouble with that. Just like finding the uh, swirly glitter pillar or whatever that is in some of those um, dealies. What's so funny about dealies? Just dealies. Just pumpkins. But I'm so, 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 so scared. Just a couple of weird one-eyed crows. Okay, um, there's not, oh, I almost missed that one. I had no idea that was there, to be honest. Oh, hang on. All right. I'm being a little bit careful with the time, just so you know. Damn it, I wish I had a good sound recording program. I wish I had some, uh, a whole bunch of fans too, so that one of them would be kind enough to send me uh, something like that. But. 35 or so people aren't going to, like, I don't know. Let me stop talking about more fans. I've got, I'm fine with who I've got. You guys are good. You should stick around if you even watch this. Get that, okay. I bet I have enough dragons already to go to the next world without even entering a single level. But I don't know. I might not. Ow, ow. That was cool. Nothing up there. I always think there is, though. Come on. Nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. Alrighty then. So. Time for a jump glide. Did you know that you can glide by pressing X at the top of your jump? That's something I just learned the other day. I mean, I've had this game for so long, and that's just, I just now learned that. Like, just now. Can't believe it. I do believe that's uh, Beast Maker's Homeworld sorted. Let's get the worst one over first. Treetops. The most annoying flipping level in the entire flipping game. Hands down. Okay. So this guy, ignore him. For now. You're dead. Um, hmm. Curious. 
Well, that was interesting. Oh, damn it, my leg is itchy. God, I'm gonna have to uh, power through it. Oh, jeez. How did he die? Ricochet? I don't know. There's a special way you have to kill these, uh, these egg thieves. Because they're not egg thieves anymore. They've stolen other things, like keys. Because remember, we got all the keys, I mean eggs, in the last one. If you remember that. I doubt it though. Oh, good time. I got to scratch my leg. Spyro, if you jump at the end of a supercharged ramp, you can really go far. I'm all Oh boy, do they expect people just to like not open or open, you know what I mean. Not rescue a lot of the dragons. Because, yeah, I could have gotten that one. Because they replete, replete, repeat even. A lot of the same crap over and over. -y. Throw bananas, that's not very sportsmanlike. There's a lot of gems in this level. Oh snap, that's like the hardest place to get to in the whole game. Okay. I got maybe like a fourth of all the gems in this level. If that. I'm gonna be doing this level well into the next uh, episode. All right, let's turn around and try and get those gems now. Nope. Come on. I'll do that later then. Oh, why do I stop? Why do I die? Why did I stop? Let's turn around now. Go the right way. Oh, alrighty then. Hey, there's that swirly dealy from earlier. Gotta love the swirly dealy. And, uh. Oh. Oh. Oh, jeez. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, oh, snap, I missed it. Oh, damn you. You damn dirty ape. Oh, no, you didn't. You're dead, though. Alright, I can do it. Nope, I can't. Did you see it? I didn't. I guess it'll take more than awesomeness to defeat this ramp. Poop is the name of this video. Oh, I forgot. Tomba 2. Let's name that, uh, Dump. So Dump and Poop. Anyway, um, this has been DVM. I'll see you guys later.